This is BBC News, the headlines. In a day of ceremony and sorrow, the United Kingdom and the world has bidden farewell to Queen Elizabeth II. King Charles followed the procession of his mother's coffin from Westminster Hall as the state funeral began. The coffin was carried into Westminster Abbey for a service attended by 2,000 guests, including 500 foreign leaders, royals and dignitaries. All the generations together, the Queen's grand and great-grandchildren took their places. I'm Lucy Hawkins, live at Windsor. After the spectacular pageantry in London, the day has ended here at Windsor, the home of the Queen since childhood. Crowds gathered to watch the Grenadier Guards accompany the late Queen to her last resting place. And in the last act of a day laden with ceremony, the wand of the Lord Chamberlain was broken, symbolising the end of the late Queen's reign. The late, most high, most mighty and most excellent monarch, Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the Queen was then lowered into the royal vault ahead of a private family burial. Good evening and welcome to BBC News. Queen Elizabeth has made her final journey from London to Windsor, where she'll be buried with her late husband, the Duke of Edinburgh. It follows a day of the highest ceremony not seen in this country for nearly 60 years, mixed with private sorrow as the state funeral was held in Westminster Abbey, the building in which Queen Elizabeth was married and crowned. King Charles, along with other members of the royal family, walked behind her coffin as it was taken into the abbey from Westminster Hall, where it had been lying in state. Hundreds of dignitaries, including world leaders, joined members of the royal family and the public at the service. In his sermon, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, said the Queen had touched a multitude of lives during her 70-year reign. We begin tonight with our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, on the state funeral today held for Queen Elizabeth. 